skincare kids had a breakfast we're gonna go grocery shopping now and like get all the errands out of the way let me put on my watch i have my earrings on i already did my skincare did i already say that i think my mind is all over the place um but i wrote everything down that i needed so i don't forget i wrote it down in my notes app just so i don't forget because i feel like i'm that person that i will forget this shirt is I got it online from Carter Merch. We went to, it says, I know a ghost on the back. I think it's so sick. We went to a Carter concert at the American Music Theater over the weekend. It was so much fun. It was so cool to like see him in person and see him perform. It's like a whole different level. And we just love a lot of his songs and music. But yeah, the Carter concert was incredible. Highly recommend if he's like in your area. It made us want to hit up some more Christian artist concerts because they're just so fun but i'm gonna do the rest of the makeup drop the kids off at my mom's house like playing outside oh my goodness what are they doing and get these errands done out of the way i'm so excited for this whole week we are home now i just spent the past like half hour or so putting everything away we stopped by walmart got my plan is to do burgers hot dogs sausages i got some two stacks of um baby back ribs and i'm gonna do that in instapot i did some yesterday for mother's day i used my mom's instant pot i actually grabbed it it's right there on the floor and my plan is to do that again because in like 35 minutes or so 45 if you do two coils i believe it's like 45 minutes it's just so easy and you get like fall off the bone baby back ribs and then you can either finish them off in the oven broil them or you can put them on the grill and kind of like char them that way for like the last five ten minutes just to give them like that freshly grilled texture but otherwise they're just it's just such, so easy and such a great thing to do so i grabbed ribs as well and that's kind of like the plan grabbed some baked chips some drinks sparkling waters juices for the kids um fruits cakes found some really cute cupcakes at walmart i'll try to show everything tomorrow because otherwise it's like i already packed everything away do mashed potatoes grabbed some salad kits and kind of do like a little cookout situation it should be beautiful tomorrow i picked up a bunch of games from amazon so I got all these right here. I'll kind of talk through the different games that I got. And then I would highly recommend going to like the dollar store. The dollar store has a lot of like platters and things you can use. Like I got this for chips and salads and you can totally reuse them. I do not plan to throw these out. But my plan right now is to do their little gift bags. So the theme is kind of like a cheetah, cheetah safari theme, mostly cheetah, which is why the cake, I got a cake. We just got one from Walmart, the local grocery store, not Walmart, just kidding. It has like this, it's kind of like a typical marble cake and it's like brown with white. And we had the lady write Josiah and Eloise on it. And then I have these candles in gold that say happy birthday. Like each candle is a letter and I'm going to put that in the front and have them both blow it out together. These I found at Walmart. I thought they were really cute in the refrigerated section. But it's kind of like a cheetah-ish theme birthday. I got these at Walmart. It's like the closest thing that I can find that kind of resembles the theme a little bit. And then these I actually found on Amazon. They were a pack of eight each party favorite sunglasses. And they're actually pretty decent. My kids have been wearing them for the past several days. And I plan to put one of each one in each single gift bag. Let me actually show you what they look like. They actually almost can fit an adult. Like compared to most kids' sunglasses, I would say these are pretty good. And they have like that cheetah leopard print on it, like a tortoise shell cheetah print. So I thought that would be really cute, something that kids can actually get use out of. And I got a box of like candy to put in there because I feel like what well, kid doesn't love candy? I'm going to put like one of these in a bag and then a little bag of Cheetos, like a little, little bag, little baggie of Cheetos. I found these at Walmart. I just thought they'd be really cute to kind of like fit the theme and just like a little favor bags for the kids to take home. Goodie bags, favorite bags are all set and ready to go. I'm just gonna keep this in this Cheetos box. Keep them in that Cheetos box right there. Over the weekend, I ordered a like a gift situation off of Amazon. I want to assemble it right now. My sister-in-law's birthday is on is it Thursday. It's the 13th. When's the 13th? 10. Friday. It's on Friday. They're gonna be here for the party tomorrow, but I might. Not chances are I probably won't see her for her actual birthday, so I want to assemble it right now. I was browsing Amazon, and sometimes you just come across the weirdest but coolest things ever. So they have this balloon blooming kit DIY surprise kit, and essentially what it is is it almost looks like a hot air balloon. Here's a close up. They have a one that has a pink box. I think it's pink, like a light pink box, 
and the box actually opens, has like a bottom drawer of sorts, and you can put candy in there. And then they had a black version as well, black and gold. This one comes with feathers. It's basically a pre-stretched clear balloon, and you put feathers in there, and then you assemble it, and it literally looks like a gift box hot air balloon situation. So I'm gonna try to do that right now. We are all done. Really simple to make in my opinion. I plan to put maybe like some chocolate or something down here. You could put a gift down there um, and then close it up, tie it up. And I just thought it was really cute. The flowers are actually really good. They're obviously fake, but they're like look super realistic. And this is the end result. You can write whatever you want with these gold letters. I just thought it was like a really cute Amazon find I wanted to share in this video. And you have like the little feathers, you can do confetti, whatever. But yeah, I just thought it would make like a really fun gift. All right, you guys, the balloon arch is essentially complete. I have a bunch of balloons left over. So this is four piece kit. I got the cheetah balloons as one product on Amazon. Everything was from Amazon. So the cheetah balloons were one product. This, all of these balloons right here were a second item and it comes with this balloon here, this one, all of these that you see here. And then I actually have a lot left over that I didn't use up. Uh, they have a lot of brown ones, some green ones. A few gray ones, but no more gold and no more burgundy ones. And then I also got the balloon arch. So I guess that's three. Just kidding. Three, right? One, two, three. Yeah, so all these three products make up this balloon arch situation that you guys see here. And I'm actually really happy with how it came out. I feel like this balloon arch is like the best thing since sliced bread when it comes to making a tabletop balloon arch. It comes with these guys right here. They you secure to a tabletop and then the rods the bendy rods, and then these circle plastic pieces. I actually ended up putting them away, but I even had some left over. Let me take some out and show you guys. So these pieces right here, I have about maybe like seven left over, and you put the balloons inside these slots right here, and then slide it into the rods, and it's just so easy, so easy to do a balloon arch, and I'm really happy with how it came out, and I'm gonna secure it. I'm gonna leave it like this overnight. Hopefully the cat or nobody doesn't mess with it and then transfer it to the dessert or food table that I'm gonna place against these sliders on the patio on that side there. But I'll do that tomorrow as well as everything else. It's been a quite a busy day of just like prepping and all that fun stuff. I redid my tape and extensions today. And then tomorrow is like mainly the food portion and putting everything out. So I will include as much as I can tomorrow. I feel like it can be difficult to film when you're trying to do so much and try to remember to film, but I'll try to show as much as I can. Oh, you're so beautiful. Happy birthday. <laughs> you like it?
Yeah. It's for you. Happy birthday. Good morning, guys. It is the next morning. I have my latte here. Woke up early this morning. It's Celeriska's birthday officially. Josiah's birthday is tomorrow. And I'm just sitting outside enjoying the beautiful sunshine. It's supposed to be a beautiful day today. My All three kids actually went with my husband to run some errands. He has to pick up some. My friend's letting me borrow some of her tables and benches for seating. And then our pump last night um, ran into some issues like our water pump and we have a well so it's like super inconvenient but he's trying he's been trying to sort that out all night yesterday and then this morning the one that he got he said it sucks so he's gonna return it and try to see if a new one is better or whatever like stuff stuff that's like beyond my head oh so yeah that's not fun but hopefully it gets sorted out considering we have an event today at our house and we kind of need the water but we'll see my plan for today is to just like set up when he comes home, set up the tables, put the tablecloths on there, put the balloon arch outside, and then food and everything is gonna be super last minute. We are doing, we're gonna grill hamburgers, we have hot dogs, sausages, I have corn, a few salad mixes, um, what else, ribs that I'm gonna do in the Instant Pot. I marinated them this morning, put them in the fridge and then play a bunch of games with the kids. I'll show you guys some of the games that I got off Amazon. I thought they'd be really fun. All the kids are like between the ages. There are some like little, little kids. They're between the ages like five to eight around there. And the niece and nephew are a little bit older, um, but they're all kind of like around that same age range. So I feel like during parties now, they need like something to do. I feel like lawn games will be really fun. I have just like a few things that I got off Amazon, like sack races, spoon with the egg thing. Um, you guys will see. I'll show you guys that later. So thought I would update on what's going on. And then I also will try to include clips of everything once it's done. Um, just super simple. The main thing is for the kids to have fun, good food, good people, great times. That's like my motto for get togethers. So that's like pretty much all that matters. Creating great memories with great people and good food. <laughs> it is so windy out. I had to put some rocks down to hold the tablecloth down and then I like take the sides. The balloon arch almost flew away. I feel like wind <laughs> is like the enemy of outdoor birthday parties. So hopefully everything stays enough, long enough and the wind doesn't blow it away. But I wanted to quickly mention where I got what. So these little leaf, palm leaf placemats are from, they're not placemats, but I'm using them as placemats, are from Amazon. These plates are from the dollar store. It was like a cute little find. Plates are from Walmart and then I did little gift bags that I mentioned. And then these are the really cute napkins from Mary Mary. Got them on Amazon, but they do have a website, a storefront. They just had such a cute safari theme. I wanted to order more stuff, but their other stuff wasn't prime, so it wouldn't come in on time. Oh, I gotta switch out this napkin, but they have, they come in a pack of like these really cute safari type prints. So I just thought they were like the cutest little addition. And then the rocks are to hold down the fort, you guys, because it is insanely windy. So hopefully this stays doesn't go anywhere because once in a while we get like a huge huge gust of wind next step is to kind of like prep everything for the hamburgers the salads all that fun stuff and then slowly start cooking the food and waiting for people to arrive Do it inside? Oh Let's do it inside. It's okay. Here. Happy birthday, dear Josiah and Eloise. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. Go town. 
these monster trucks glowing? They're glowing.